starter up. In we are. And, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how long it takes us to fill the rest of this tank up. Maybe we'll get it. Uh, well, if we get at least another tank and a half off here, that would be great. Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Old Stream Farm. We are up here at the shop starting up here today because we need to get a grape harvester for our grapes as they're ready. Uh, there is nothing in the used vehicle sales. Um, not that it matters because even if uh, it was, we wouldn't be able to afford it. Uh, 42, uh, sorry, 242,000 we of course can't afford. Uh, so we are going to get... Uh, Michelin tires wheel setup. I'd like to get GPS on here. Can we get that? Uh, let's see. And lease. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, our roads are nice and straight. It'd be really useful to have GPS on here, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. So uh, let's lease it without. Yes. Okay. Perfect. And um, we're getting a fairly early start up here at the shop today because. We want to be able to get all of our grapes done in one day. Get it all done in October. And that way, uh, we should be in a position where uh, we don't pay more than we have paid to, to rent this. We've got slightly more grapes to do this year. So uh, let's get this back up to our farm and get it started. Now, with this year's harvest, we are going to be delivering it straight up into our grape factory. Uh, getting that started. I don't know whether we'll start immediately processing. I need to work out which is the best uh, product to produce from that. Let's unfold the harvester. There we go. Uh, no, and start it up. There we are. And if we put this on 180 degrees, that should do this rather nicely. There we go. And not catch any of the posts. 3% uh, off here already. I'm really intrigued as to uh, how well we do off here at this year. I'm getting 6% oh, off. Okay. So we should end up with a fairly decent amount off here nearly 10 percent off the first row wow we are gonna have to go and get our tractor fairly quickly get that position down the middle not catch any posts and there we go oh i do like this harvester grapes is something that i'm i'm glad i've done i'm glad we've taken this series and uh, and we've had a go with grapes and we've tried to build the grape farm i think we're a little way off still i i want to get the cow meadow filled with grapes and uh, and do that um oh wow we've maxed out our chickens as well we're going to go and deal with that in a minute and i am nowhere near coming on to that straight let's bring it round and in oh no if you come in at too much of an angle, you definitely cannot get onto these vines. This is where having the GPS on here would have come in really, really useful. Oversteer and then straighter in. And we're better. There we go. Yeah. Getting in the right position, especially in the corner where it overhangs like that, is a bit more difficult. About halfway through the field, and we've got about half a full harvester, which is very nice. I'm liking the amount we're getting off here. I can't remember how good our yield was last time, but I'm fairly sure that we're getting a larger yield off here at the moment than we were then. And yeah, we are going to have more than a single harvester's worth off this field, which is absolutely brilliant. I have left, uh, I've not brought my tractor and trailer out to the field yet. I'll go and grab that as soon as we are in a position to uh, unload or as soon as we need to unload this uh, first set of grapes. It's looking really good though. I'm liking this a lot. We should do pretty well off here this year, I think. We're over 95% full now. Yeah, 96. So we're nearly up to 100%. So what I want to do here, I think, 
is we'll unload before we oh we go into the next row we are 99 percent full uh it does not make sense to go much into the next row so, oh wow and that is not a good piece of positioning let's get ourselves a little bit further forward give ourselves a little bit more maneuvering space there we go and then we can turn it forward and get onto here a bit better right so that i think is a good position here for us let's just pop out and have a look yep so we should be able to unload fairly easily from there let's go get the tractor and trailer and our tractor is now stored in this barn here now that i've found i've got a closable barn for it let's get this out of here oh actually before we do this let's just grab this and make some space with the eggs uh, I've had a few warnings that basically the eggs are full and, yeah, and can't spawn anymore. So let's just grab these and move them out of the way. And that way we can uh, continue to have some eggs produced. Right. Uh, have a look. Oh, wow, we are. Oh, wow, we haven't got the forks on here. Let's just switch those out quickly. So that's over here and yeah forks are on the bottom shelf yeah we had the bale spike left from feeding the sheep previously so many attachments that we've got on the front of this jcb now All right and get those in a bit and lift these with the only space for three eggs but now we've got the chickens fed with a reasonable amount. It uh, means that they're producing again. There we go. Alright, get those out. We'll put them over here. Uh, out the way. And that will be useful for us going forwards. Same goes for the second set and the third set. And then we can get back to the field. Last pallet up. And we just put them in here as well. And yeah, we've got a nice amount of produce again that we're collecting up. Uh, it's really good. I'm very, very happy with this. I think this is a really good map if you wanted to do a cake. There's, there's plenty of ability uh, to get that done on here. Right, let's go and put this away. And then we can go and hook up our tractor and get that working. We're fine here for fuel. We're fine here for fuel. Yep, we just need to go and get the trailer hooked up and uh, out to our field. The rain has started falling. Thankfully, that has absolutely no effect on our yield for the grapes, which is good. Uh, if we were trying to do something else, there would be a bit more of a problem. Look at the difference in size between that tractor and that harvester. That's a little bit mad. Right, back it up. There we go. Empty it out. And I'm intrigued to see how full this harvester is going to make this trailer. Basically, what I'll do is fill the trailer up. And then when it's full, we're going to go and take it up to our uh, factory. 51%. Actually, that's pretty perfect. So we'll just back this off. Leave that there. And then we can get this field finished. And um, yeah, we might as well fill up the harvester again. We won't worry about emptying it when we get to the end of this field. That is our first field harvested, and we're back up to 50% in the tank on this. Uh, really pleased with that. That is uh, a cracking start on here. So we're going to take this now up to the top. We'll uh, just sink back down a bit. And then head up through here. And yeah. So that is a good, well, uh, four and a half thousand liters of grapes off uh, just one field. And this field is bigger. 
So, um, wow, this could be a really, really good harvest this year. Up we go. Starter up. In we are. And, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how long it takes us to fill the rest of this tank up. Maybe we'll get it. Uh, well, if we get at least another tank and a half off here, that would be great. Rain hasn't lasted too long. It's all cleared up. And we've hit 91% here on this field. Now, I'm going to empty it at this point because, well, the thing is, if we try and do this next row, we are not going to get very far before we have to unload this harvester. Uh, so we're just going to bring this in a little bit here. 94% is pretty good. So I'm going to run off and grab my tractor, which is still sitting down here. Let's grab that and I'm in reverse. I need to go forwards and see if I can turn. Is there enough turning circle with this little tractor? Oh, yeah. This grassland area that we've got on the ends of this field are actually pretty perfect. Um, they work absolutely fantastically for us and allow us to very easily do this and give us enough space to turn around we haven't got quite as much space on this field here but it should be enough Ooh. is it enough though here to empty this out that's not quite straight up to the trailer and there we go reverse it up yeah that should go in or just put it back a little bit further. There we go. So this is going to just about fill, fill this trailer up. What we'll do is we're going to go and tip it uh, up at our factory and get that set up. Yeah, that all fits in there. So I'm just going to turn my harvester off. And we're going to get the light on on this thing. I don't know what's in that field. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head down to our uh, factory and get this tipped. And make sure that it's not already processing something. Yeah, we are just shy of 6,000 litres. So this road here comes right out at our factory. Allows us to just nip across the road and in. Right, before we start, before I get these tipped... Oh, God, I forgot. We've got no rear visibility out of this tractor. Only downside to this tractor. I love it otherwise. Yeah, it wants to tip there. I'm not going to tip these, though, until we can see exactly what's going on in the factory. Uh, production is all stopped. Good. Right, let's tip this then. We're going to load this up and then work out what we're going to do with these later. In it goes very quick tip this and then we want to head out this way because uh the road we came in on is actually a one-way system so um we're gonna head back out this way and uh up this little dirt track that takes us back onto our farm i've been trying to figure out which tractors or which map would be best for the kubota dlc and i keep coming back to this one I kind of think a Kubota DLC would fit this perfectly. And, uh, yeah, but it's still a month away. And I don't know if this series has that kind of legs. It's Maybe it's something that we can uh, stop for a little while and come back to. A bit like we did with uh, Hope Belleron. But, uh, yeah, I, I really, really think that I have a, getting a uh, to the point where we could get a Kubota tractor on here and maybe get some grass work and things going with some Kubota equipment and things might work out quite well on here. Otherwise, I think we're going to be looking at using it on a maybe another European map uh, and setting ourselves up on there, I, I think would, would work well. But this is a great map for small tractors and small equipment. Got my stuff sucked self stuck on a post there we go we're all good so uh yeah let me know in the comments what do you think do you think we should try and keep building our vineyard up here uh keep working away uh, it would be another eight or so episodes 
until the release of the Kubota DLC. So it would actually be next year's Grape Harvest, roughly, uh, that we would be getting the DLC on here if we did. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts as always, so uh, drop us a comment. And, uh, and yeah, as always, uh, I've said it a couple of times in this series now. If you want to get the DLC for yourself, there's a link down in the chat uh, or in the description that, uh, that helps support the channel as well. And at the moment has 8% off the DLC. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go and grab that, uh, go check out the link down there as well. I'm coming up on another full tank now, and I don't think we're going to make it all the way to the end of this row, to be honest. It was a bit hit and miss when I was down the bottom end, but uh, yeah, I'm about halfway through the row. So turn the harvester off. We'll reverse it up carefully. And uh, then we'll be able to get it emptied. 99%. Yeah, 3,088 is just... 3,000 litres is a good amount for us because we're able to fit 6,000 litres in the trailer. Right, go forwards, please. There we go. And so, uh, yeah, we'll bring this back round and get this emptied. If we actually get it underneath the harvester this time. So it can just straight up empty when we jump in. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We are going to have to jump back out and move the tractor because we'll never turn on the next row. So we'll let that empty. And once that's done that and hits about 50%, yep. Yeah, we can then move this out of the way. To there. And get straight back to it. And we might even get another full tank off here. This is... Yeah, it's only about halfway through the field. That's incredible. That's a huge amount. That will be 12,000 litres of uh, grapes off here. That's not started. There we go. Uh, which means that, yeah, we, will, uh, we should get probably 18,000 litres in total if we're lucky. Uh, certainly, I think we're going to get 15, which would be absolutely brilliant. I think the yield on these final rows have shot up. And if I remember correctly, these were the ones where we were fertilizing every row when we did them. The incredible thing about how many grapes we are getting off here is that I know that we haven't got these fields up to their 100% yield. It is a crazy amount of grapes we're getting off here. Uh, uh, the amount of, uh, of extra crop we could get off here later is just nuts. I mean, we're at 94% now. Uh, 29,024 uh, grapes. Or actually, we can... Um, no, that is going to be a full trailer. Because... Uh, we know we've got 3,088, so yeah, that's going to be a full trailer we get off here now. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think we're going to be going for the grape juice. Now, my reasoning behind that uh, is very simple, uh, and I'll show it while we are emptying this out. If I can get this to reverse up underneath my harvester. Yeah, there we go. Nicely in position. Let's uh, empty that out. And yeah, fully expecting that to uh, to fill that trailer up. Yeah, so here we go. Comparison of uh, raisins versus grapes. Raisins, I think, are worth more money. Their top price is 2797 And they process at a one-to-one -one. so yeah would be would actually be quite good uh grape juice is a five to four ratio but they sell for slightly more but not so much more that uh that they make up that difference it's not a huge amount in it though however here's the real kicker 
top price for uh, grape juice is April. So we can sell next April and make this £3,103 uh, price per thousand litres. Raisins, we have to sell now to hit that price. And if we see current prices, yeah, 2768 it's already falling away because we're actually in October. So, yeah, in order to get the most out, I think we're going to have to hold off till April. Current prices are up there, but not quite that peak of April. So that's what we're going to have to do. Let's turn our harvester off. Nope, in the wrong vehicle. Turn our harvester off. And into this. Yep, we are 100% full. So we'll go and tip this. And yeah, I think we'll turn on grape juice production. Um, because that's going to be the thing that's going to make us the most money. Uh, be it's not for six months. The other reason, of course, that we don't want to keep our harvester on is because... Uh, it's rented, and for every hour it's functioning, we get charged again. So uh, we don't want it running while we're all the way up here uh, tipping these. Uh, let's tip the, the trigger on this seems to be a long way out from where it actually is. You know, you tip it basically on the ground outside. Uh, I'd like it further back, but the, the tipping point doesn't go further back. Right, so that is that all tipped. Let's head over here and into here. And I'm going to turn on the grape juice production now. The other thing, of course, is it costs £60 a month. Uh, in order to do this, we only have 332 I think what we're going to have to look at next time... Actually, I want to have a quick look at it now is the price for selling the where is it the wool that's wood wool there we go wow prices are awful that's april as well uh, and that's only to the spinnery top price is 2188 yeah we're going to be we are going to be selling a lot of stuff come april I, uh, I really want to get the spinnery and start producing some stuff from that because uh, that will give us a whole load of extra money. Uh, doing the same thing as we're going to do on Hope Belleron, though. Drop the wool off at the spinnery first. Fill it up, make the money from that, and then buy the spinnery and, uh, and make money from the output as well. I understand why I was having such problems spraying this before. This is on a slight hill. Uh, you can see our harvester actually compensating for the, the, the slight bits of slope as it goes down there. And it only gets worse on this, uh, this top set on here. Now, I've dropped off the tractor and trailer. You can just see it in the distance over on the old cow pasture. Uh, that is because, yeah, we're 17% full off that row. Uh, we should be about 40% oh, full, I think, off this row. If I can get on the row straight. Oh, God, I'm chomping up the posts here. Yeah, badly chomping them up. There we go. That end post is going to need a little bit of repair, I think. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're still getting a really, really good yield off here. I think we're going to end up with at least 18,000 litres off here. Uh, we may get as high as 20. It is going to require two more full tanks off this harvester. But uh, this harvester, uh, but the other field, sorry, uh, is fully uh, fertilized and set up and everything. So I'm kind of expecting an even better yield off the cow pasture, which would be exceptional. So, time to see what our new set of uh, vines has. I think I've left less turning space on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is tight. Not quite as good as I did on the other fields. Going to have to... Yeah, there we go. Right. Now we're on. Let's back this up. Have I not unfolded my harvester? I haven't unfolded my harvester. That did not make things easier. Turn it on. 
And we're at 35% now. Let's see what shakes out of here. That is going up quicker. Yeah, that yield already is better than we had on the uh, previous rows. Uh, only an increase of 5%. But still, that is, uh, that is good. Not so sure anymore that we're going to get two full tanks off here. But we'll, uh, we'll see where this takes us. Okay, so two full tanks was maybe a wee bit hopeful. But we are going to get at least one tank off here. Uh, we are going up at a uh, fairly slow-ish rate. If I can avoid hitting any of my posts. And I think we're going to end up with a full tank by the end of this row on here so that should be fairly good yeah it's oh it's gonna be tight it's gonna be so tight at the end here i'll be very very interesting to see how things change next year we're gonna get money in from these grapes just in time for planting season next year and it may be a choice between uh getting the uh, getting the the spinnery and uh, and and getting the getting this field planted, which is a little bit odd. Right, let's go get the tractor, and we can get this unloaded, and then get the last of these grapes. There we go, tractor. We are losing the light now. It is October, and it is uh, ten past five. Uh, we're looking at being ending up down this end of the field, so that's good. So we can empty out down here. And yeah, we've only got two rows to go. Bring that underneath our harvester. Might be a little bit close. But we'll see. Right, and empty it out. Nope, that's all good. It lifts it nice and high. But that is going to give us another half a trailer full here. And then when we finish up, we should end up with another half. Uh, but maybe half again. We're at 49%. So, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be an interesting amount. We want to get this return though. We are 0.8 of an hour, so I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to manage to get this done before the hour is up on the harvester which will be very good because otherwise it is going to cost us a fortune so coming to the end of the last row we are a heading for 44 percent maybe is that going to tick over yes so that's really good that is uh over sixteen thousand liters of Grapes that we've got off of our fields this year. That is not even the most that we can get off these. Incredibly. So uh, I'm very, very happy about that. We're going to tip this up. Uh, we are at point nine, So something to factor in for next year uh, is the fact that it is going to cost us a lot more to hire the harvester. Because if we have the rest of this field... Uh, we are going to go over that hour. So let's get that returned before... Have I turned that off? There we go. So turn that off. Uh, we'll then go in here and we'll get that returned now. Just double check. No grapes in it. Good. Right. Uh, return that before it costs us again. It doesn't tell me how much... Does it tell me on here how much? No. So let's select that. Yeah, there's no way of telling what the cost is by the looks of that. Return that though. All done. And now this, we just need to get driven up to our factory. And uh, we'll be finished off for the day. So by my estimation, that is 16,365 litres of grapes. 
that we've got out of our vines today that is absolutely brilliant at the very least that will that pays for our harvester if we hadn't um done that we're looking at getting uh three times that uh divided by four fifths so three times uh 16 is 32 48 uh no 64 uh 54 so that would be uh 54 000 pound but it's two fifths of that so uh we're looking at about 45 000 of this uh which is huge that is absolutely massive uh, amount of money that we're looking to get off this. So very, very pleased with that. Uh, we're looking at making a decent amount of money off of the wool in uh, that time as well. So uh, yeah, come April next year, it looks like we're going to be getting a big payout, which is only going to help us grow the farm more. Um, for now, though, we're done for today's harvest. So that means all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.